Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical equation problem. It is 6 root of 63 minus 32x plus 6 root of 65 minus 32x equal to twice of 6 root of 2 minus x. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by considering our straight away substitution. The very first radical I will consider A. And second radical term or sixth root I will consider B. So one important equation I can write now A plus B equal to twice of sixth root of 2 minus x. This is our equation number 1. Now I will use our substitution. So I can write a power 6 from this substitution. I can write a power 6 equal to 63 minus 32x. b power 6 I can write 65 minus 32x. So once I will add both the equations, if I will add both a power 6 plus b power 6, this value will be 128 minus 64x, which further I can take 64 common and then I can write it as 2 minus x inside the bracket. Now 64 I can see as 2 power 6 and then it is written 2 minus x. If we can write this one as, then we can write it is 2 times 6th root of 2 minus x whole power is 6. Yes, we can write like this. Now, why I am writing? Because of our equation number 1 RHS. You can see it is matching. So, I can consider this RHS as A plus B whole power 6. And LHS, it is A power 6 plus B power 6. This is our final conclusion. Now we will consider this equation. But before that, we can conclude about few things. First one, this is A and B. So we can write A should be positive, B should be positive. Two important points. Third point which I can write, X cannot exceed 2. So condition on X we can write x should be less than or equal to 2. So we will reject all those solutions which, which are actually greater than 2. Okay. So let us consider this equation a power 6 plus b power 6. I will write a plus b whole power is 6 equal to a power 6 plus b power 6. So because of our power is 6, so I need to know what are the coefficients. So I will use Pascal triangle. So I need to write this tree 1 to 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And required row is 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. And while expanding this, I will consider first and last coefficient altogether. I will take common. Then I will take 6 common from second and second last term. 15 common. And this term we will left as it is alone. Now let me expand our LHS. So I will write like a power 6 plus b power 6 as it is having coefficient 1. Now I will take coefficient 6. So I will write 6 common. Then I need to write a power 5b plus ab power 5 plus for coefficient 15. I will take 15 out. Then I need to write a power 4b square plus a square b power 4. And then the last term that is 20. So 20 a cube b cube. Right hand side is a power 6 plus b power 6. Now we can cancel two terms from LHS RHS. These two. 
now what is left from this bracket from this bracket something we can take common so let me take ab common from the first bracket so i will write 6ab in bracket it would be a power 4 plus b power 4 then from second bracket it is 15 a square b square common so in bracket it would be a square plus b square plus 20 a cube b cube equal to 0 now a b is also common let us take a b common so once i will take a b common it would be left inside the bracket i will consider 6 a power 4 plus b power 4 then i will be writing 15 a b in bracket a square plus b square last bracket we can write 20 a square b square right hand side 0 now i will convert a power 4 b power 4 into the using identity into the form of a square plus b square so let me write here a b as it is six times i will write this is a square plus b square whole square minus 2 a square b square so better is to write minus 12 a square b square now second bracket i will write 15 a b and a square plus b square as it is then it is 20 a square b square now if i will consider one more substitution then this equation will be let me write here i will write a b in bracket it is 6 times after simplification a square plus b square whole square now 20 minus 12 so i can write 8 a square b square and remaining term i will write as it is 15 times a b in bracket a square plus b square this is our second bracket equal to 0 now if i will write only suppose this is p this bracket is p and a b is suppose q see this equation will convert 6 p square plus 8 q square plus 15 p q this bracket equal to 0 and from first one i can write a b equal to 0 now you can see because of a positive b positive and what is p p is a square plus b square so obviously p will be positive and q will be positive individually this equation suggested that if you will get solution then solution will be negative as all the coefficients are positive in nature so we can reject straight away this equation which is quadratic or power 2 degree 2 so we will reject this equation as we won't get any p positive solution so p cannot be negative so i will accept only one solution that is a b equal to 0 so what does it mean a equal to 0 so i will write either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 or we can write a power 6 equal to 0, b power 6 equal to 0, or we can write what is a power 6? 63 minus 32x equal to 0. What is b power 6? This was our a, this was our b. So what will be b power 6? 65 minus 32x equal to 0. So from first equation, I can conclude one solution. 2x equal to 63, x equal to 63 over 32. This is 32. First solution. And from second equation, we can write x is equal to 65 over 32. So there are two solutions. If you will see, the very first value is slightly less than 2. The second value is slightly more than 2. But as per our domain condition, x should be less than 2. This was our domain. x should be 
less than 2 for real solutions. So immediately we will reject the second one solution. So we can write here this solution is rejected. And why it is rejected? Because of this value is greater than 2. So which solution we will accept? That is 63 over 32. Let me write here x is equal to 63 over 32 which is approximately 1.968. So this is our final answer. Let's verify this answer. So I will write verification. Let us put this value. I will write to our LHS as, once I will write over there, so 6th root of 63, I will write minus. So if this is true, then I can write 32x is equal to 63. So here I can put straight away 63. So I will write here 63 minus 63 plus 6th root of 65 minus 63. So our LHS is, this is 0. So it is coming out 6th root of 2. This is our LHS. Now come to RHS. RHS will be 2 times 6th root of 2 minus x. x is 63 over 32. Now I will write 2 times, it is 6th root of 64 minus 63 over 32. So this is 2 times 6th root of 1 over 32. So mm -hmm. now I can multiply in this 6th root or radical term, I can multiply with 2. See what will happen. Once I will do that, denominator will be, numerator will be 6th root of 2, denominator will be 6th root of 64. And we know that, that 64, if I will take 6th root, then it will be 2. So this 2 and 6th root of 64, I will cancel. So straight away I will be having 6th root of 2, which is our LHS. Hence this solution is verified. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.